inhabiting a common territory with apex predators in the wilderness presents a formidable challenge for any creature, irrespective of its physical capabilities and skills. Such coexistence invariably results in unending hostility among animals in severe conflicts as they compete for vital survival resources. Interestingly, some of the most intense battles in the animal kingdom are predicated on mutual comprehension and respect for each other's potential and the harm they can inflict. However, the inevitable scarcity of resources and the drive of hunger imply that direct confrontations are inescapable. Hello everyone, I'm Ahmed Mahmoud, and in this episode, we're going to talk about animals that hate each other. But before we start, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can get our videos as soon as they're released. In spite of its majestic appearance and immense size, the lion doesn't always manage to exert control over groups of hyenas in its African savanna territory. These are creatures that possess a bite strength exceeding that of both lions and tigers, and they can sustain speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour over impressive distances. Conversely, a lion, weighing in at 200 kilograms and capable of reaching speeds of 80 kilometers per hour over short distances, can easily beat any single hyena in one-on-one -on -one encounters. However, when faced with a group of around 20 hyenas, the dynamics change. Hyenas usually target the remains of animals that have been killed by other predators, such as leons. With some effort, they can force the lion to abandon its freshly hunted prey, allowing them to feast on it instead. In 1999, a conflict erupted in the Ethiopian desert that lasted two weeks and resulted in the deaths of 30 hyenas and six lions. It might seem unlikely at first that a seemingly gentle creature like the mongoose could be in conflict with one of the most lethal venomous snakes on earth, and even more surprising that it often has the advantage in such encounters. The mongoose, a small-sized carnivore with an endearing appearance, is actually a fierce and audacious animal that lives a carnivorous lifestyle. Both the cobra and the mongoose inhabit several regions in Africa and parts of Asia, and interestingly, they share a similar diet, primarily consisting of rodents and lizards. Their interactions result in some of the most perilous confrontations witnessed in the animal kingdom. Even though the cobra's neurotoxin is potent enough to kill an adult elephant weighing over 2,000 kilograms, the mongoose, weighing less than 5 kilograms, possesses certain traits and displays a level of bravery that enables it to defeat the cobra and even make a meal out of it. The mongoose is an agile creature with rapid movements, capable of evading the cobra's swift attacks. Regarding the cobra's deadly venom, the mongoose has unique receptors in its body that prevent the venom from blending with its blood, whether it's bitten or while it's consuming the snake. One of the fiercest battles in the animal realm unfolds in Africa's humid territories. On one flank, there's the crocodile, with its ability to reach speeds of 30 kilometers per hour in water and 17 kilometers per hour on land, an unquenchable hunger for any life form that crosses its path and the most powerful bite force in the entire animal kingdom. On the opposing flank, there's the hippopotamus, averaging a weight of 1,500 kilograms, capable of speeds up to 8 kilometers per hour in water and 30 kilometers per hour on land, and boasting the fifth strongest bite in the animal kingdom. Although the hippopotamus is a herbivore that primarily consumes plants and grasses, it has been spotted consuming meat and animal remains. Surprisingly, it holds the record for the highest human casualty count in all of Africa, surpassing the combined total of victims from all other predatory species on the continent. Owing to its ravenous appetite and shared habitats with the crocodile, the two not only frequently cross paths, but also engage in life-or-death battles, particularly since crocodiles often target and relentlessly attack young hippos when the opportunity arises. In this clash of the titans between the hippopotamus and the crocodile, predicting a victor is a challenging task. Now, let's submerge into the depths of the ocean to witness a distinctively fierce battle between two of the world's most formidable marine creatures, the great white shark and the dolphin. The great white shark, infamous for its daunting reputation, largely due to its portrayal in the Jaws film series, is renowned for its intimidating size of 6 meters, a weight that surpasses 2,000 kilograms, and a mouth filled with up to 300 razor-sharp teeth. At this point, 
you might assume that there's no contest between the two, and the great white shark would naturally emerge victorious. However, the dolphin we're discussing isn't just any ordinary species. It's the unrivaled ruler of the seas, always gaining the upper hand in any conflict it engages in. We're referring to the orca, the marine predator. The orca, also known as the killer whale, is a dolphin species distinguished by possessing the most advanced hunting skills in the entire oceanic world, employing the most ingenious hunting strategies ever observed. In its frequent encounters with the great white shark, the orca invariably triumphs, so much so that scientists have observed that these sharks vanish from the area where the orca appears for a year before they dare to return. The orca employs a fascinating technique to eliminate the great white shark. It propels itself at high speed and strikes the shark's underbelly, causing the shark to flip onto its back, after which the orca swiftly attacks. The giant Japanese hornet is deemed the ultimate adversary of bees. The adult hornet can attain a length of 5 centimeters, and its wingspan can extend to 6 centimeters. It's noteworthy that just one of these hornets can prey on 40 to 50 bees daily. Indeed, a squad of merely 30 of these hornets can decimate a bee colony of 30,000 in under 4 hours. A lone sting from this hornet can be fatal to humans. They are responsible for 30 to 40 human fatalities annually in Japan alone besides hundreds of injuries. However, this doesn't deter bees from defending themselves and attempting to exterminate them. These hornets typically dispatch scouts to locate a beehive before launching their assault. Since a bee's sting lacks the strength to penetrate the giant hornet's body, upon spotting a hornet, the bees swarm around it and engage in a collective embrace. Bees possess the capability to utilize their wings to generate heat vibrations and a sizable group of bees can elevate the surrounding temperature to 46.6 degrees Celsius, a temperature lethal to the giant hornet. However, the time they require to eliminate the hornet ranges from 30 to 60 minutes. Even though the hornet might kill several bees during its attack, the bees ultimately manage to secure the hive and repel the hornet's onslaught. Regardless of the hostility that exists among polar bears, their most formidable adversary in the Arctic is the walrus. The walrus, a colossal creature that can reach a weight of up to 1,500 kilograms, is nearly twice the weight of a polar bear. They live in substantial groups and possess intimidating tusks capable of effortlessly piercing the thick hide of a polar bear. These attributes generally dissuade polar bears from considering walruses as potential prey. However, due to food scarcity and extreme hunger, Polar bears are compelled to gamble with their lives and initiate intense confrontations with them. The primary challenge they encounter is that the animosity among polar bears surpasses their disdain for walruses, and their intense hunger isn't sufficient to rally them during hunts. This results in each bear confronting the threat individually and their hunting success rate, which is typically no more than 10% under normal circumstances, diminishes when they confront this enormous creature. The few successful attempts by polar bears usually involve preying on the young, sick, or elderly walruses. One of the most unusual and intense antagonisms in the animal world is that between the humpback whale and the orca. The humpback whale, measuring between 16 to 18 meters in length and weighing up to 30,000 kilograms or 30 tons, feeds exclusively on krill and small fish. Despite lacking sharp teeth, it harbors a remarkable hostility towards the orca. It stands as the sole whale species known to launch attacks on the orca, which is known to prey on the offspring of the humpback whale, among other creatures. However, the humpback whale escalates this hostility to an extraordinary degree. It not only protects itself and its young from the orca, but also steps in to safeguard other animals that the orca seeks to devour. For instance, if they notice a group of orcas attempting to hunt a seal in the water, they would initiate an attack, sparking a conflict. This behavior has been repeatedly observed by biologists over several years, suggesting that they not only defend themselves but also intervene between the orca and any potential prey it targets. And with that, we've talked today about animals that hate each other. What would you like us to talk about in the upcoming videos? Write in the comments. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and share. And for those who are seeing us for the first time, subscribe and activate the bell so you can get our videos as soon as they're released. 
See you in the next episode. Have a good night. Bye.